Oh, we'll figure it out eventually. Damn, did we run into trouble to try to stream this shit. Oh my god. We got out of nowhere tonight with me and Jake live here on the Joe Cronin Show. That's right, I named my own show after me. Because I'm a psycho. I'm just gonna, what's going on? Turn the radio down. Drink some black coffee. <coughs> with the sun, the sun left us. I know that. It was sunny. Now I'm in the dark. <coughs> that light doesn't help. I don't know, but they they moved uh, Eve and Marie to the alumni section. So, you know, I don't know what that means exactly for her, but it doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be good. Get some. There we go. Some more light. That's not bad. Some, a little bit of light. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's bounce around in the car. Uh, out of nowhere is tonight. So we'll, I'm sure we'll talk a lot about it tonight on Out of Nowhere. Uh, she said it was fake. People are saying it's fake. So that's what I heard earlier too. I heard that uh, the Eva Marie stuff was, you know, whatever. They didn't just bring her in to be like, oh, you know... It's, I think a lot of it was created because of the low rating on the TV. So, like, people run with the, like, oh, she's in trouble. Just because they saw the rating already. You know what I mean? Beady Skeleton! Beady Skeleton, you naughty beast. Thank you for the $1.49. What's up, Beady Skeleton? Hey, Nessa. Um, they did that to Black. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's kind of, I mean... It could be anything, though, really, to be honest. A lot of the, a lot of the, you know, the report people and the, you know, the wrestling sites and all the other things, they just go on like, oh, this just happened, so now let's just jump to the obvious, you know, uh, conclusion about, you know, what they could do or, you know, what's going on or, or whatever, you know. Um, I'm still getting used to my PUBG hat. It's, I got like three new hats. I got a Red Sox hat. I got a PUBG hat. Uh, what was it? About a month ago, I got these. I'm still getting used to how they feel. You know, they're not all droopy and soft and nice. They're hard, rigid, and huge and thick. What's up? Speaking of that, Fleshlight Forever 666. One of my greatest creations ever of a name. Look at this. How do I, feel? How do I go younger? I can see all the wrinkles in my face starting to happen. What am I going to look like when I'm 50? There we go. I look good now, guys. What's wrong with this? What's wrong with this? Huh? What's your favorite city to visit for WWE? What's my favorite for WWE to visit? New Orleans? Jesus Christ, no. Need more sleep? Maybe you're right. Nessa, you might. I need some cucumbers or whatever they are. Uh, no way. I would never, yeah, never do Botox. I mean, there was a girl, you know the singer that I like, Meg Myers? I swear to God, she did something to her, like, upper lip, I guess, or was doing something to it. I think she stopped doing it. But, like, I remember thinking, like, that girl's really pretty and stuff. And then recently I see her and she's like... And I'm just like, she doesn't even... that. What the fuck happened, you know? Cody, how'd the surgery go, man? He had his um, wisdom teeth out. You gotta be sore. You gotta be sore. Kermit Waters, you have missed... You've missed torture. I mean, you know. But yeah, it looks like Eva Marie is... Uh, she's not... It's some kind of weird rumor started by people because... She had the one of the lowest rated segments the other day. So then what the news stations do is they go... You know, they, they start writing like Vincent Angry or... Um, she was moved to the alumni section when she was or wasn't. And that way they can sort of create the news. There's a slow news day, obviously. You know what I mean? Slow news day. So we'll talk about that on Out of Nowhere tonight and really go into what happened today with that with that news on Out of Nowhere tonight. Uh, we'll be live on Out of Nowhere tonight around 11 uh, or 10.30. WWE has said the max number of tickets for SummerSlam is 50K. They claim 15K is blocked for production with floor space. They could easily fit. Um, yeah, well, they're going to say it's sold out. That's just what they've always done. They've lied to much weirder things, you know. You know. 
Like, we've had a lot of weird videos in the past. I mean, there's been a lot of uh, lies and weird things from WWE as far as how much, you know, how many seats they sold, how much, you know, oh, we sold out, but we, we cordoned off this area, like, stupid. Um, Soundwave92, what's up, man? The evolution ended within a month. I don't think it has ended, though. I think this is, like, some BS, you know, rumor from people, I believe, you know? Whoa, you puked all over the dentist? Well, that's his fault, right? He did something wrong. I mean, maybe. Or maybe not. But either way, fuck him. That's crazy, though, that you puked all over the dentist. You wake up from dental surgery and you're just like, Bleh! Oh, you know what I got? I got I got in the back? You know what I got in the back? I got old trusty. I swore I had it in the back. Wow. I thought... That means I don't know where it is. Oh shit, I don't know where my hat is then. I thought I had my, uh, my, my Adidas hat, my old Adidas hat. The one that I wear a lot. I thought it was in the back. I guess it's missing. Let's just do this for the people that come in. In the next few minutes, people that come in, all the new people that come in are gonna be like, why are you wearing a mask? What are you doing? Like, let's just troll everybody, right? Let's just. Guys, don't say anything. What's going on, Jennifer Muppet? I've got COVID, everybody. Um, it's going to be okay, though. I'm just wearing this in case Leah gets in the car later. I don't want my air to go around everywhere because I've got I've got COVID. So people just coming in for the people just coming in, wondering why I have a mask on. You're like, oh, you idiot! Take the mask off. I'm just doing this because I've got COVID and I don't want to spray it all over the car. You know, so um, that's why I'm wearing the mask and. Uh, so far, I've been all right. It's been fine. It's like a little breathing and like weird, tired, and you know, like don't like feel sore, I guess. You don't need guns. You all don't need guns because we can just nuke you anyway. Stop. No, I thought it was Joe Biden. Um, no, what's going on, everybody? I'm just kidding. I was messing around. Anyway, what's going on? I jaundice just for a second. All right, we're back. I'm just joking. It's weird that that was sitting underneath me. I don't know. Habs and Knights tonight. 
Uh, we cannot let the Montreal Canadiens go to the Stanley Cup. We cannot let the fucking Montreal Canadiens go to the Stanley Cup. It's bad enough that the New York might go, although I am going to win some money if New York Islanders win the Stanley Cup, which I think could happen. So, like I said, 8 to nothing, dude. Like, everybody was like, oh, my God, they're done. Like, it was like, dude, so what? They lose 8 to nothing. Then they win the next game. Then they win the next game. Who cares? You never remember that. You'll never really remember that 8 to nothing game ever again. All you'll remember is, yeah, remember when we sucked that one game and then we, and then we won two in a row after that? Like, I mean, who cares? Cody Mastro. What did Cody say? Why didn't it read it? Why did that donation not read? What the fuck? That's weird. Overall, I feel so sore, spitting blood like normal. That's weird. That's not normal. I got a lot of videos of me being a goofball when they picked me up from the dental office. That's funny. Maybe it's the quotes. That's like quoting you, or they always quote. I don't. I don't know. Why didn't it read that? That's fucking weird. Um, mine did that the other day. Okay, Ryan, man, that's weird. I don't know why it's not reading. Uh, you want me to go full sideways? Look at this guy over here walking right there. Go, fucking go suck that guy off. Go suck that guy off. I'm gonna go sideways like this to make it feel better. Yo, this is this is what I do. Yo, this is what I do. What's up? This is what I do. Islanders would have an easy time with Montreal. I think you're right. I feel like I feel like if. I don't know, bro. I feel like if the Islanders beat everybody and make it into the cup, the Islanders are going to win. I feel like if Tampa plays Montreal, though, it will be, like, weird. Like, I don't know, man. It just feels... I told you, man. I picked the... There's a reason I picked the Islanders to win the Stanley Cup. It's because their team is just coming together in that chemistry way that's working. They got this New Jersey Devils vibe on defense a bit and but not really nobody ever will have that again people always say that they say that about the Bruins sometimes too about the trap and it's just not it's never really that it's the the devils were so boring with that it was so boring like it's not even close to that really but it's like I get why people say that because they're good at playing defense I guess I don't know or good at clogging up intersections or areas but, like, the the way the Devils played that, it was fucking... It was, like, enraging to watch those games back in the day. What's up, Ryan? Hey, you might miss a little bit tonight. It's okay. You know, out of nowhere tonight. I'm sure Jake will have a lot to say. He's Jake is going to be exposing his uh, private area tonight on out of nowhere. A lot of people don't know that. Um, so I do want to say congrats on that. So Eva... Yeah, Eva Marie, it looks like like a fake news story or something like that. Eva Marie did apparently have the lowest segment or rated segment on Raw. So all these news outlets are running with, people are mad, she's fired. They moved her to the alumni section on WWE, you know, things like that. And I don't even know if that part's true. So I don't even know if they did do that or not. But either that, it's a bullshit rumor, um just wanted to talk about it because it was all day getting messages sent to me um yeah Eva Marie already said it's a mistake or whatever yeah so it was probably a mistake on the website they moved her to that area and then people that triggered people to be like oh my god they moved her to the alumni section she had the lowest rated segment on raw okay she's they're just gonna jump to that you know which makes sense right but come on we get it What's up, everybody? Hit that like button if you can. Let's get to 69 likes, okay? For my mother, who is now 70, but she was 69 for a little bit. Um, it really sucks. Yeah, Melissa uh, Coates died. Uh, that's real. I thought it was maybe a fake story for a while, so I didn't talk about it. I met her twice. Super nice. Loved. I thought she was so nice. Great for Sabu. Um, I don't know what that guy does now without her. I mean, he was... Um, from what I could tell, you know, she was like a a glue for him or like a real big support for him and whatever. So I don't know. It's sad to think about. And, uh, you know, I don't really know. I didn't know she was going through all this stuff. So and it just sucks. It's awful. Um, sad news. She was always good to me when I met her. Um, they seem like they just went everywhere together. I saw them everywhere all the time. So, you know, 
just sucks. It's true though. I don't know. I have just released a video about Jim Cornette being racist, um, saying the N word on my channel because I'm petty. Every day, if you attack me, I will fire back. I was an Olympic medalist athlete in school. Um, you know what? You're a drunk and a piece of shit. This interview's over. I basically dig up dirt on people that I don't like. And I make videos, gotcha videos on them. I have hepatitis. Triple H wouldn't work with me because he said I had hepatitis, but I didn't. So, Triple H, I'm going to abduct your family and cut my blood on their bodies and eat the heart of Vince McMahon because I have hepatitis. Have you seen that guy just, like, literally... Just, like, dude, he's in a fight with Cornette, so... He's in a fight with Cornette, right? Because Cornette said something shitty about him. So instead of, like, you know, like, just ranting on Cornette, he just uploads a video that says Jim Cornette saying the N-word and, like, lets 15 seconds of it play, like, uh, no context. <laughs> the one we've all heard from years ago. And then, and then, like, the guy's like, I don't know who Joe Cronin is. We did podcasts together a couple times, but he doesn't know who I am. Nobody ever knows who I am. Have you ever noticed that? Like, never heard of that guy. I don't know what you're talking about. You never heard of me. Like, these people never heard of me. That like, literally are like, what is he doing? I'm going to do that. Okay. Come on. Come on, bro. Right after I, right after I interviewed him, he started doing all this, <laughs> all the fucking live things and stuff. He <laughs> He was like, wow, you go live and make super chats. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm typical Canadian. We're vindictive, scary people. What's up with people doing that? What's up with the Canadians, man? I don't know, it's psycho. I don't want to call you out. I basically will just show the world what you are, which is a racist, a four-eyed freak, and your fat wife is a whore. <laughs> Dude, I wish I could do him better. Oh, my God. So when you were five, you used to play with Mr. Tortoise. I saw in your interview that you love Mr. Tortoise. Tell me, was it, was that always your favorite toy? And is that where the inspiration came for the turtle character that you performed on CZW in 2011? <laughs> oh my god, dude. The Black Greek. Oh my god, the Black Tip. Can we get a Hulk Hogan fart? What the fuck does that mean? I don't even know what that means, Black Greek Mafia. But Black Greek Mafia, thank you. And I don't know why it's not reading out loud these donations. Like, what the fuck? It used to read the donations out loud. Now it's not reading them? What the fuck's going on? Triggered. Jesse has the best Hannibal, but I'm starting to get it down. I'm starting to get the Hannibal down, dude. Yeah, Eva will be on Raw. She's not fired, man. It's bullshit. I, so when you found, when you became the turtle gimmick, was the tortoise your inspiration? I wouldn't say it was my inspiration, but I'd always like tortoises, so... I figure, what the hell, I'll be the tortoise guy, you know, I paint myself green every time I go to the ring, you know, 
And uh, the, the crowd loved it. The crowd seemed to love it. So I just kept going with it every, every time with the tortoise. And uh, Big Jack Williams would come in with that clothesline and hit me with the light bulb in the head and the fans would pop. They look for the shell shock every time. And Ryback always, always got mad at me for saying he stole it, but he did. I mean, I was calling it shell shock before he was, when he was the, when he was the Skip character. He was Skip at the time. So you, so you really had been, you had been saying shell shock because it was your finish maneuver. Yeah, basically. I see. Um, so what is, where did you come up with the shell shock name? Is that from Ninja Turtles or, is, I don't know, I'm sorry. Anyway, I can listen to that fucking guy all day. Just sound like that. I really, <laughs> Jim Cornette said the N word, so I win. I made an argument with Jim Cornette right now, so instead of debating Cornette or bringing up facts, I will just upload Jim Cornette saying the N word, I win. What up, Brian? I forgot about the CM Punk uh, song fight. Look at my eyes. What do you see? I got the shit kicked out of me. Roberto. Roberto Bravo. What's up, man? Why the fuck isn't it reading? I just got my Facebook disabled. Rybach impression, please. Really? Roberto, what the hell did you say? Would you would you talk about Joe Biden saying he was going to nuke Americans? Uh, Roberto, holy shit, what happened? I mean, they're scumbags, but... Yeah, so basically what happened, um... Yeah, so I was, I was saying to... I said to Punk, I said, listen, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna play with it, but I will, um... Like, I'll, I'll shower with you, but I'm not gonna play with it. And he was adamant, like, yeah, you gotta play with it. You gotta smell it. Get down and smell it. And I was like, no. So I get out there and I'm in the ring and I'm doing my thing and I'm pacing back and forth. And I can hear the crowd, like, it's one of those arenas that you can hear everything and they could hear me. And I was like, finish it! And this guy's yelling, faggot, like, back at me and I can hear him. So that's where I snapped. And Vince didn't like that. And he's like, I'm like, finish it! And I'm really staring at the crowd now, and I'm like, listen, I'm going to amp these guys way up. I'm going to amp them way up. Finish it! And I hear him say, faggot! Like, back at me, and I go, no, you're the faggot! And that's when, you know, Vince McMahon pulled me aside. He's like, you can't do that. You can't say that word. You can't... There's children in the crowd. Even if you hear it, you can't say that. I could smell him from the ring of the stink of his wife. Shell shock! And then I hit the move, and then I just stared a hole in him, like a pit of spikes. Pit of spikes, I stared a hole in him, like a fucking wolf. Wow, so Vince McMahon told you not to say that word, even though the fan had called you a homophobic name? Yeah, basically. You know, and it's not a word, I, I don't normally use the word, but he called me it, so I just called, I didn't know what to do, I just called him back. I called it to him back, and then people were like, oh, Ryback's a homophobe, and it's trending everywhere, Ryback calls fan F word, you know, and I'm like, I didn't, he called me it, and I started freaking, and it's things like that that really piss me off, and I get really mad, because what the fuck, Leh! roar, Ryback, roar. Um, yeah. So, why are you roaring right now on this interview? Is that part of the story, or... Yeah, no, when I get mad, I start roaring. I just can't help it. Oh, it's like a, it's like a tick. It's a tick, I can't stop. Uh, roar! Okay. Um, J-Rod says, what up, J-Rod? 
Did you watch the Steve Austin podcast with Mick Foley on Peacock? It's pretty good. Thank you, J-Rod. And once again, I don't know why it's not reading, but thank you, brother. <clears throat> Actually, I think I might know why it's not reading. Let me try something. J-Rod, thank you, dude. Yeah, I got to check that out. I heard I have to check that out, so. All right, I'm definitely going to check that out. That is fucking awesome. All right, let's put this over here and see if that changes things. All right, J-Rod, let's see. Nope, it didn't read. It didn't read still. Fuck. Feed me supplements. <sighs> what up, Vivian? I don't know why it's not reading. I don't know, man. But what am I going to say that every two seconds? I'm, you know, who cares? Fuck it. What's up, Joe? How's your day going? Quick question. Is Out of Nowhere live tonight at 11? Yes. Thank you for the Ocho. Uh, furry balls plopped menacingly on the table. One of the greatest names of all time. Probably next to Brett the Shipman Fart and one or two other ones. Got to give it to him. Uh, Out of Nowhere is tonight around 10.30 to 11 p.m. with me and Jake. We'll be live for about an hour, if not two hours, depending on how much content we have for the show and how much the show is... Uh, crazy and how much stuff we have to talk about you know it really depends but it could be an hour could be two hours it could be three hours i mean i don't know what's gonna happen tonight shout out to everybody who watched my twitch stream last night while i was gaming and ranting and singing about drew that was a lot of fun singing about drew last night uh what a stupid idiot he is with his big lips uh the new fast and the furious nine comes out tonight damn really well enjoy that everyone i'd rather cut myself than watch that uh but instead i'll Watch a Michael Bay movie from the 90s, maybe, or something. And like, in June, they'll be like, oh, yeah. Let me remember the 90s. You know, maybe I'll watch, uh, I don't know what I'll watch. Oh, my God, the black tip. Thoughts on China documentary on Vice. Thanks, Black Greek. Haven't seen it yet. Haven't seen it yet. How do I watch Vice? I can never find it. I'm behind on so many things because the only time I ever see Vice is when I watch the YouTube videos on it, or when I watch the, the Daily Motion video on it. Where is Vice? I don't even know where it is. I can't get it. I can't find it. Is it a YouTube channel? I have to, I, I usually watch them on, um, like, the Warrior one I watched on Daily Motion. So, I don't know, let me know, because i got to find it, and I can't find it. Roman vs. Lashley, Survivor Series 21. I mean... I, they really want The Rock to face him at Survivor Series, right? So, that's going to be weird. Fucking get out of here, birds. You fucking asshole birds everywhere. God damn it, birds. Man, they're shitting all over my car every two seconds. Like, come on. Uh, Australia has 0.001 COVID cases, yet Sydney is on total lockdown for three weeks. Jesus, well, your fucking country's insane. I don't know. But would you rather be that or would you rather be India? I don't know. But then again, you will never be India because you don't have the population that India has. You know what's funny is the country that should be locked down is the more population you have, the more the lockdowns needed, right? Probably. But it's like, I think, I mean, I don't I don't even know if what I just said is true, so who cares? You know what I mean? Maybe not. But either way, it's like, why, what the fuck? They're in a rural area. You know? Um, Joe clipped that Drew timestamp. I left on E3 Roast. Alright, I'll look at it. <clears throat> Some, there's been a lot of questions here that I've missed. I'm sorry that I've missed your questions. If I've missed some. I've definitely missed some because I thought I'm going to answer that and then forgot what it was. So, My bad. Uh, let me see if I can update the thing. Uh, ba 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 um, what is this? Um, yeah, people are crazy. The, the CRT thing is crazy. I mean, I know that's a whole different argument, and that's another world and another thing. The critical race theory argument's crazy online. Yeah, I think the problem with it is, is, is you're calling it CRT, but it could be used, it could be, it could be legitimately teaching history, but then it could also be, like, brainwashing people to, like, the wrong stuff. So that's the problem with CRT. That's why you're seeing so many people angry about it. And you're like, oh, you can't teach real history about race. 
No, you can. You can teach real history about race as long as it's really the real history about race. Problem is, a lot of the CRT, it makes white children hate themselves and black children think that they cannot become things. And that's a horrible thing. You should be promoting that children can be anything and, and bringing people together instead of creating something to divide people. You're going to make white children resentful and angry as they get older. And you're going to make certain black children believe that they can't do things. Like it's it depends on what you're teaching in school, right? If you're teaching actual history, then cool. But if you're teaching some kind of jacked up thing, then it's a problem, you know? So that's where people, I think, are fighting online about it. They're arguing over what it's called, but it's really not what it's called. It's really what it, what's in the actual content of what you're teaching, right? It'd be like if you, it's like how we teach history now. We teach history, but we really don't teach, we teach our version of the history. It's the same thing. Nothing's ever accurate right way, so it's all bullshit. That's what people are fighting about, and it's, nobody wants to be indoctrinated and shit into bullshit. Um, what up, Joey? Where's Joey Janella? Windows 11 is coming in December. Who else has, who else has anxiety about that? Who else has anxiety about Windows 11? It's like, dude, either this is going to be helpful or it's going to be a fucking nightmare, right? Chances are it could probably be a nightmare. We've all experienced how bad Windows updates have been. Oh my God, dude. This, I mean, this shit could fry your computer. It's happened. It happened with Windows 10. It happened with Windows 8. You know, people's fucking computers were fucked and they never worked right again. And, um, or just the shit that they fix that's stupid. Like, dude, fuck off. I pray 11 supports Firewire. It won't. Um, yeah, Fire, and for the people that don't know what Firewire is, like, really, Firewire is the faster, more efficient USB that never was used. We never used Firewire. I never understand that. It came out for like a second, especially with Macs and Apples, and then they just, like, they were like, no, Firewire is over. But isn't Firewire still faster, like, and current Firewire is still way faster than a USB 3.0? Right? Is that not, that's true, right? I mean, so... Yeah, I don't know if we'll ever see that. And I don't know what the reason is. More expensive, probably? Like, they probably figure you can get the same... You can get the connectivity that almost everybody's looking for with a USB. So they don't want to put FireWire in because it's too expensive, I guess. And people don't see the value in it. Unless it's... But I don't know why certain gaming computers can't have it. And I guess the answer is the software doesn't support it, right? So the software doesn't support FireWire. So, that's what you're saying, Paul, you know, maybe, but yeah, I updated to 10 from 7, like a full, yeah, the audio interface is fucking crazy, if you don't have FireWire, I mean, FireWire was amazing for sound editing, and for audio editing, I used to edit audio and sound, and when I used to make, mo like, edit videos and movie stuff for, call like, back in school, and, um, also when I used to work at, I worked at Nesson for a little while and it's in, it's like the New England sports network. It's like the, the channel that covers the Red Sox, the Bruins and stuff like that. And I mean, man, Firewire updates and installs and tracking and audio. It was just so good. Firewire was, wow, dude, I love that shit. That was, I mean, somehow my, the stuff, some of the, a lot of the stuff I processed and edited in 2006 and seven were, were better, you know, it, they just seem better off than what I work with now, like now on my computer, I feel like, but I don't know, I could be completely fucking stupid, but you know, I don't know. I feel like that. Use cube case, oh, cube base to record audio. Yeah, it's a pain. It's stupid that shit now is harder to use than shit then. It doesn't make sense. If you have Windows 7, keep it. I'd say, like, if you have Windows 7, keep it, but only if you need that. You know what I mean? If you don't need that, then no one's going to care. Windows 10 will help you. But if you need, if you want to do certain, you know, editing and fi and you want to use, you know, a USB audio interface or FireWire audio interface and things like that, 
Um, you know, I don't know. I then maybe it's worth it. I don't know who Drake is, but he spammed, so I banned him for two minutes. He'll be back in two minutes, but I banned him for two minutes because I didn't know who he is. Who is that? I don't even know who that is. Oh, sorry, Drake, if I banned you. I, I thought you were, like, some spam account or something like that. Um, so you'll be able to talk again in two minutes. I just timed you out. I don't even know who that is. I don't get it. <clears throat> oh, he's a spam account? Oh, okay. We'll just, just ban him then. Drew, if he's a spam account, you can just ban him. Oh, it's an actor? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, but maybe he's really, that's him. Maybe that he's Drake, and he's like, maybe the actor just has the same name as him. Uh, Windows 10 was a nightmare at the beginning. Yeah, it was. It got better, but it was at the beginning. It was just fucking crazy. Windows 10 was like um, the Halo Master Chief collection. Seems to be Windows' new thing now. Roll it out broken, and we'll figure it out later, you know? I don't know. Maybe I should go outside and roll around on the grass. I don't know. We still got about a few, a little bit longer, you know? You know? Joe, you too old for Drake and Josh. It's Drake from the show, his real name too. What? I don't know who that is. Dude, what the fuck are these goddamn fucking birds doing to my fucking window, dude? Get the fuck off my windshield. You fucking assholes. They're fucking all over the car now. Like, every day they're shitting on the car and sitting on it and shit. Dude, I'm gonna fuck you, bird. I'm gonna get you! Come on! Oh, wow, that really hurt. I threw my voice out yesterday. I don't know why I did that either. I don't know. Broken lion. Roar! They're pecking at it. Dude, I will fuck you up. Let's go! There's a really pretty blue jay out there, though. I wouldn't want to hit that bird. That bird can do anything. That bird can fuck, come, piss all over my car. I don't even care. That bird is so pretty. It's a blue as hell. It's so blue and huge. Got a big oriole. Got a big blue jay. There's a gigantic cardinal. There's this red fucking cardinal, dude. It's They're all in my backyard. Cardinal, blue jay, oriole. We got the whole fucking baseball league in my backyard. I don't know what's going on. We don't have any bird feeders. But they're loving it. I mean, maybe I should put one up, but I feel like, what the fuck? They're already here. It's going to make it worse. You know? That's true, Matt. Yes. The Black Greek. Did I read that donation? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, good. All right. I thought I, I, thought I fucking missed it. I'm drinking McDonald's black coffee is what I'm drinking. Fuck! There he goes again. What is he doing? Trying to get in my car? Did you guys hear that? He, like, waffled the car. What are they doing? Turn my fucking wiper blade on. I'll get you, motherfucker. They're not the... It's not the Blue Jay, I don't think. It's the shitty, like, ro sparrows or robins or whatever. Dude, they're fucking everywhere. What are they doing, dude? Holy fuck, they're just flying around everywhere. They're fucking crazy. They laid eggs in the uh, basket of flowers up on the porch a while back, and it w that was really cute. Um, the donos aren't popping up, but I can read them. They're, they're popping up, but they're not popping up. It's weird. But yeah, I can. Um, it was really cute, man. The mother bird. Um, it says showing on stream. I don't understand why. I don't understand why it's not working. Um, but yeah, the mother bird, uh, you know, is... I watched them get pushed out of the nest and everything. I watched them fall out and try to fly. And I watched them trying to fly. In fact, you know what? That's why there's birds everywhere. I just realized it. This is the, these are the fucking kids growing up now. This, is, this has been months. They're fucking big. That's what it is. It was like, <clears throat> it was like six new birds. That makes sense. There's a the fucking parents and the six birds. That's what's going on. They're living in that tree or some shit. That's exactly what's happening. Fucking idiot I am. That's what's happening. They were born on my porch. Of course they're right here. But yeah, it was really, uh, really cute watching them learn to fly and flap the wings. And they're all just running around looking for food. And the parents were bringing them worms and things like that. And 
don't know, it was wicked cute. What if the birds ate us? I have no idea why the why the why the donos aren't playing the right way, but Oh, I think I do know why they're not playing now. Oh fuck, I know why they're not playing. Wait a minute. Fuck, I do know why. Hold on a second. Ah. Wait a minute. Let's see if I can fix it. I think I know why. Oh, I can't do it now. I'd have to get all this login stuff and everything. Okay, yeah, never mind doing it now. Yeah, I can't do it right now. Oh, fuck, I can't see my screen now. What the fuck did I do? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. What did I do? Oh, there we go. Okay. Fuck. What's up, everybody? I'm back. All right, I figured out why it's not doing it. Now I know why it's not playing them and stuff the right way. There's nothing I can do about it right now, really, but... At least I know why. Pretty pumped up about Diablo. I know, I'm still got the windshield wiper going. I'm trying to scare the birds away. Clean that window off, you piece of shit. Alright. There you go. What up, I'm back. Yu-Gi-Oh. You gonna go play with Yu-Gi-Oh cards and wax your carrot? Alright, well, good luck with that, man. Yeah, the guy from Blink-182 with cancer. The Mark or whatever his name is. Yeah, I saw that. That's sad because he seems like... He seems scared and, like, really down about it. Like, it's bad, like, or something. Or it's really... Like, I don't know. It doesn't... I don't know. I don't know if he's just really scared, which you, I would be. Um... Or if it's really bad, because he's sort of like, ooh, I don't know. Hopefully he's all right, man. Hopefully he beats it and he's okay. You know? Anybody with uh, with cancer, I mean, that sucks. Yeah, hopefully he's all right. That sucks. Give him a big hug. What else? Finish it. Feed me more nutrition. You guys can use my Amazon uh, my Amazon link, by the way. If you ever use my Amazon link, it should be down below. If it's not down below, I'm going to put it back in the description again for you guys. If you just save it, whatever you buy on Amazon, I make money. Like, do you know what I mean? So, I mean, like, if you use Amazon to buy anything, you guys can help fund the show. If you use Amazon to buy anything, whatever you buy, I get like somewhere between 1% to like 15%. It depends on what you buy. It's crazy. Well, not 1 to 15. It's like 1 to 5%. It's like, or it's like 0.60% to like 5%. So if you buy something for $1,000, I'll get like 30 bucks. So if like 70 of you are buying stuff on Amazon this week, that could total that could total eight thousand dollars. I would get like you'd fund that'd be like I'd get like two hundred dollars or something. So you guys would like ma could massively constantly fund the show um, by just using my Amazon link every time you use Amazon. Just click the link before you use it. That's all you gotta do. It's it's down below, I believe. If it's not down below, I'm gonna get it back in there again for you. And I'll tweet it out and things like that. You can save it on your homepage, on your phone. You can save it on your web browser, you know, whatever. Like, oh, I'm using Joe's thing. Cool. I know it's a pain in the ass. I feel like a lot of people just don't do it because they're still lazy. They're like, oh, fuck that. I don't know. I'm just going to use Amazon. But if you really want to, you could really massively fund the show if we really did that. Joe, you saw the Halo GIF I sent you on Twitter. Randy, I didn't see it yet. I'll probably see it in a few minutes, but I haven't seen it yet, Randy. What's up, brother? Yeah, every single thing you buy on Amazon. It's fucking crazy. Like last month I made 30 bucks. 2 months ago I made 80 bucks. But for like oh, there it goes. It's sitting on the fucking windshield. The bird is sitting on the fucking windshield. It's trying to fly in the fucking car. What the fuck is he doing? 
Oh, it is a little blue. Look how purple he is. He's wicked purple. What the fuck is he doing? Wow, his body is like purple. That's pretty. That's gonna be a Robin, right? Wicked pretty, but get the fuck off my car. What can, I gotta get something up that like makes them not want to be here. He was just sitting on the windshield wiper. There's, I know there's a there's a part of me that wanted to turn the wiper on. There's a part of me that wanted to turn the wiper on, but I'm like, no, I don't do that. But there's a part of me that wants to uh, turn the wiper on. Yeah, we haven't talked about John Cena yet. Um, so yeah, I mean, clearly he's coming back, and clearly he doesn't know. It seems like because like this is what John Cena said in the past is like, I don't know, I don't know what they want me to do. You know, and I don't think he still knows. Like, I feel like they do this to him all the time. He's like, I want to come back, and they want me to come back, but we don't know yet. And that's what it looks like is going on. Um, so I will, uh, we'll talk about that tonight on Out of Nowhere More, because I've got some more investigating to do about that to put together. He's had a couple of different interviews and stuff like this. Um, he was cringe on the Today Show. Yeah, 100%. Um, for sure. Yeah, I miss the PUBG days big time. I miss when we used to play PUBG at night. And uh, when me and Jake DeMarco and D-Moon and, uh, you know, my buddy Wolf and some other people would jump on with us and we would just play PUBG. Troy, uh, super fun. Just like Halo 2, man. I'll never... Halo 2 is one of my favorite times in gaming, man. Halo 2 and Halo... I guess Halo 3, Halo 1, Halo 2. Halo 1, 2, 3, and even Reach. That was just a great time, but Halo 2 especially. That, those two, three years when everybody was just playing Halo 2 only, that was fucking nuts. And then I would say those couple of years when PUBG was hot, I loved that. That was my favorite time too. Um, so yeah, sucks uh, that that's over, but I guess uh, my, only, my only good time in gaming left is playing Diablo all the time now. You know, Diablo from 2012 to now is uh, where it's at, I guess. Um, which I like, but yeah, I do miss playing, in, you know, groups on PUBG. And when the game had glitches that were kind of funny, and, you know, when there was just one or two maps. Now there's like nine maps, but like, who cares? Because nobody plays really. So it's like, just get rid of all the maps. I think PUBG should get rid of the maps and just go back to the one map. Just have the one map, the original map, and. That's it. Just go back to the original fucking map and have PUBG the way it was. I miss that. Now there's like dinosaur volcano map and just nobody. It's all dead. It's all gone. I was into Zelda years and years and years ago. I loved Zelda on the original Nintendo. I just fell out of it. I enjoyed watching Leah play Breath of the Wild though. That was really fun. But now I don't want to play... Zelda because I feel like if you broadcast it, Nintendo will kill you. Um, I got the PUBG hat a little while ago. On um, yeah, I got a little while. It was like two months ago, but I only started wearing it in the last couple of weeks. I got a uh, Red Sox hat too, a couple other hats, and then I got a couple more Adidas. I waited until they were on sale. I don't really play GTA, but I I, I like it, and I've always. I really would have loved GTA when I was 14. You know, I would have fucking online GTA and with the mods and stuff. I would have lost my mind with that game back then. Um, we'll see y'all out of nowhere tonight at 11 p.m., yeah. But I like GTA. Once in a while, I once in a very rare while, I pop it in and I start messing with it. But I feel like there's a lot that I could do on GTA if we uh, played it. So that is something that people keep suggesting to me like do a gta channel like maybe i would do a gta channel and just be crazy you know i think people would might like that because i could be a complete insane idiot but uh i got about two more minutes left and i'm gonna get out of here uh hit me with whatever you want while i'm here uh the eva marie story seems bs we're gonna talk more about that tonight the ratings the breakdown of that John Cena's cringe fests that he that he does when he interviews on this very cringy person. He's so 
fake, it's cringe, it's just full on cringe, it's weird. Um, I don't know, it's just super weird. The guy's creeping me out. When I watch his interviews, I get just, I feel gross. When I watch John Cena interviews, I feel like I'm just, I feel disgusting. Like, I don't know what it is. I feel, I get the shakes. I feel like I just, like, I, like I'm eating chemicals, like government cheese. You know, I can't even explain it, you know, to be honest. But I hope you guys leave a like, because we're trying to get to 69 likes right now, so... Give me uh, to 69 likes. Yeah, he's insanely fake. That's what it is. He's, like, so fake. It's crazy. I know that he's just trying to put go through the motions on a show and be like, well, that's what we do. You know, I was on the set. But, yeah, he's, like, so... He's, like, too nice and too fake. You know? Where I, I, I almost picture him getting off the air and being like, did you hear what I said to that fucking idiot? Yeah, what a fucking asshole he is. He's always been a piece of shit, idiot. Like, you almost hear him talking shit when he gets off the call. I mean, maybe he's not like that, and he's just always super polite. And sometimes super polite people can come off as fake. You know what I mean? Oh, we're at 90 likes? Okay, well, I guess fuck the 69. Let's get to 100. Uh, you know, so sometimes it can be misunderstood that he's just a nice, polite guy. And being so nice and polite is making him come off fake. So, you know... Uh, if that's the case, then I, I do feel bad that we're burying him too much, you know? Uh, today you said the Fast and the Furious franchise is more unpredictable than WWE. I mean, it might be now, you know? I mean, the fucking WWE is... W, the only thing... WWE is super predictable. It's going to suck every week. That's the prediction, you know? It's going gonna, it's gonna to suck every week. Guess what? Uh, me and Jake have our podcast coming up. Another episode of Jake and Joe podcast. I've got Meant to Offend. You guys seem to like Meant to Offend podcast because I'm just really savage on that one and ranting and stuff. So Meant to Offend is going to be uploaded on Patreon soon. Um, I'm halfway done it. I have a part two. I want to finish it off, make it long. Make it long. You know about that. Uh, Jake DeMarco, uh, me and him are doing uh, Meant to, uh, doing Jake and Joe podcast. And then I've got a couple other ones coming up with some other people. That's going to be fun. One of my old co-hosts from way back in the day, we're going to have a little chit-chat, and that's going to go up. Um, also, uh, yeah, a few other things going on, too. So Patreon is going to be cool this week and next week. For anybody that becomes a patron, thank you. Did you see the residential building collapse in Florida? People in it, yes. I haven't really looked into it too much, but my... um. Yeah, my scanner went off last night and I saw that. It's really scary. Like a building, a residential building. I think it was made of what? Concrete or cement or whatever you make those type of buildings out of. It was a structure that was supposed to be strong, right? Um, this fucking thing collapsed. Like like half of it just slid off. Um, the other half is there. And the other half looked like it just slid off. And I mean, they were trying to rescue people from inside of it. You're sleeping at night, all of a sudden your building collapses and you're in the building. Like, dude, that's that's like my worst type of like weird fear if I go to a big tall building or I live in a hotel room or something. I'm like, dude, what if something's wrong? This just fucking collapses, we're dead. Like, I don't want to go like that's where your heights and stuff. But people living in the building or an apartment building and um yeah, that was really scary and awful. I don't even still know what the damage is yet. Oh god. Well, now Rich just told us 99 people unaccounted for. Dude, that is that is just... That makes my heart break right now. you telling me that. Like, people sleeping, children sleeping, and families sleeping, and then they're just in rubble and trapped, and I don't know. That would make me fucking have a problem. Any news on the After Dark podcast? I need a deep talk. The villain. What's up, villain? Uh, yeah, I just got to reach out to Jesse and get him away from Gargutz for a second, and we can uh, figure it out. Jesse, hit me up. The, the building looks kind of old on the top of the roof. I can't really go into that stuff. I don't go into that stuff too much because, like, whatever's wrong with me emotionally, something's wrong with me, like, emotionally. I'm just be honest. Something's wrong with me emotionally. And, um, I didn't used to be like this, but in the last couple of years, it's gotten worse and worse for me. And, um, I can't talk about this building collapse. I can't even do it. 
Um, can't do it. I'm gonna have a breakdown. So I can't think about um, kids and families and the building and whatever. I can't do it. So um, can't do that. That's probably why I haven't talked about it. I have major, uh, some kind of psychological problem, uh, at this point with, um, just can't do it. Um, but yeah, it's terrible. I saw it last night. saw the Daytona Beach stuff too, uh, saw somebody who was shot, um, saw that, and it came up on the scanner as well, I got a weeping willow tree that's, uh, pretty fire in my front yard right now, it's, uh, it's like fully engulfing the ground and the side of the house, damn, we, we went over 100 likes, I thought we'd have 69, but, uh, I'll take the 103 for sure. What opened in 1981? What opened? One person shot at Six Flags in Dallas. Jesus, that sucks. It's the worst, man. I, you know, it's just the war the bad news and the bad vibes of humans is the worst, bro. <clears throat> It's, it's all the bad and all the terrible and like, oh my god, it's the worst. Um, what up, J-Rod? We got Jag to Panzers here, dude. What's going on? I was studying uh, the Diablo 3 builds because they just made some adjustments to some things. So, uh, oh, I get it. Okay, they were like, it was made in 1981. That's not that long ago. 91... It's about 40 something years or 40 years you wouldn't think something like that would come down I mean something wrong was done for sure right not only that you know not having structural integrity you know we have the science and the mathematics now to put structural computers in buildings to sense um, vibrations shakes and deficiencies in buildings we could put them in every single building ever just to be on the safe side you know, you can even put them in homes, but it's not feasible, right? It's not feasible. It's not something people would pay for. And that's the thing that sucks about our us as humans right now is we're still, it's all about money and practicality and things like that. And certainly, you know, there's a place for those things and maybe major, huge buildings, big, big buildings have them and, and can't have that computer science. But why, why, you know, we couldn't have that in every building. And then you'd say, well, because it's like one in a million that this would ever happen, so you don't really need them, you know. It's not a thing, you know. It's like smoke detectors. We have those because there's so many fires and they can happen. Like, it makes sense and they're cheap. Um, but to put a structural, you know, a, a measuring structural, you know, uh, vibrations monitor and whatever in the building, you know, it's... It's not practical, really. I mean, you know, but it, but it's something where if we only if we cared about saving every single life ever, and we were like, of course it makes sense if it saves even ten people in twenty years, then we would do it as humans. We'd be like, oh yeah, well, let's take, let's do it. Like let's save everybody, bro. Um, what's up, Omar? How you doing, man? <laughs> uh, the real handicapper goes, came back from the store and you're playing on the big TV and my mom goes, what's this guy talking about and who is this guy? <laughs> I'm on TV, lady. Listen. All right. I'm like, basically, I'm the newest, I'm the new CNN for you is all you need to know about me. I'm the new CNN. Okay. What I want you to do right now is go to the kitchen Grab the knife. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Uh, what's up, real handicapper? How you doing? Uh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Who's this guy who's like almost in tears over a building falling? Uh, who's the psycho on my TV right now? Who looks like 
chunky Eminem, Fred Durst loser. From Fort Wayne, Indiana. What's up, John? How are you, man? A lot of people in Indiana. Say hi to my buddy JB. He's out there, too. Not in Fort Wayne, but somewhere near there. Um, I think the Islanders... I gotta go Islanders because... I picked the Islanders to win the Cup. You know? I mean, at the beginning of the season. So, I gotta go Islanders. You know? And especially if they fu if the frigging Montreal Canadiens make it. I hope the Knights win. Please, Knights win so I don't have to have that anxiety. Please, God, no. You know? Um... I would like to see the New Yorkers cry, though, so that kind of sucks, you know, if they win. But I like when the New Yorkers cry, um, especially uh, that midget. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I saw you. I saw your wrestler friend in NXT. Watch out, this guy is good. Yeah, Casanova. Um, what's his name in NXT? I always forget. I've known him as Christian Casanova for so many years. It's Carmelo or something like that something Carmelo um so yeah I mean dude man so awesome to see him not only does he make it but he gets these great positions now you know they really like him um I remember calling his first some of his first matches he was really green like at the, you know what I mean and really like trying to locate himself in the ring and stuff like that Carmelo Hayes thank you so yeah and, and then I remember him getting better and get, reaching another level and then reaching another level. And really in the last two years, he's been this tip-top player. Last two or three years, he's been a tip-top player. Um, you know, another product of Chaotic Wrestling, another product of the Killer Kowalski School, uh, another product of New England uh, Wrestling Academy now, where I went to for a while, uh, a little while. Uh, Sasha Banks... Kofi Kingston, Triple H, Prince Albert, China, John Cena, um, uh, Viking Raiders, I mean, you just, the list just goes on and on and on for how much, how many good wrestlers have come from this place. I need the car. You going to get, yeah. okay, what's going on? They're just Nothing. done? She's just like, oh, you know, like, my husband just got home, and they seem burned out, so. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to get out of here, because Leah's got to go pick up our daughter from her uh, play date. And the birds attacked the car while I was in here the whole time. I told you, they did that when I pulled up. They all flew and landed on the window right there. It scared the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah, they were bashing into the back window yeah. and landing on the, on the windshield You're wiper. Insane. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for being here, and thanks to the villain for those donos. Did villain say anything else I missed? Yeah, thank you. Shout out to Carmelo Hayes, man. Great job, Carmelo. If you're watching, bro, uh, Christian boy there, uh, appreciate it. Love you. Love you guys. I'll see you guys tonight for Out of Nowhere, and uh, we'll get to whatever else tonight. Thanks. Later. I'm going to go play hockey, I think, with Finn out here, maybe, actually. He's asleep. What? been asleep for like an hour. Oh, good though. I can wake him up. Yeah. Because I wanted to play, I wanted to play hockey in the driveway while she was away.